Okay, how's it, gang? We're back. Um, we're going to do a quick video on the Olsen style mask. Um, it's not going to be a video where I actually show you, show you sewing. Say that five times fast. But we're going to change some of the processes that I went through because I am not by trade a seamstress or someone that actually sews. But uh, first of all, we're, we're going to, you know, you can download these plans anywhere. And then uh, mahalo to Unity Point Health. In Cedar Rapids, you know, they produce this. They actually have a video on going through the process of sewing this together and then ending up with a mask that has a pocket inside where you can put a filter in it. Okay, um, I changed some of the processes and uh, this is not to show you the way to do it, just a different way to do it. So let's start from the top. Um, this, is the, this is the end mask that we're going to end up with or the final product that we're going to end up with and you can see that uh, there's a pocket on the inside right here where you can put the filter in and by the way side note heard from a friend do not use air conditioning filters um, because they may have glass or fiberglass particles and you don't want to breathe that in if you're going to put a filter in here you want to use a filter that is designed for face masks basically okay let's put that on the side first things first uh, the pattern I got tired of cutting out the pattern one by one by one and multiple copies and this and that. So I made templates of the three pieces out of wood. This is the main cheek piece, or this is the front piece. They call this the face piece and the cheek piece. So what I do is, this is the final piece I had off of uh, some material. So basically, I put it on, I'll clamp it down, gonna look like I think I did it this way I use some clamps wood clamps because you know I'm a woodworker I'll clamp it down on this piece I use three of them you can tell what I'm doing utility knife and cut around the edges and every piece is exactly the same you can do actually fairly thick this is folded over a few times Again, this was the last bit of pe of fabric that I had had four yards. I did like the first three yards in one cut but um Normally, I'll do one strip of the face piece the front side Let's do it this way And cut it across and then I'll, it's almost the same size and I'll do the inner Inner face and cheek pieces on another strip going down get rid of that. Let the templates off on the side. Okay, once I get them cut, I'll be honest with you, this, this, this material I happen to have is very thin and very flimsy, but it's what I got. So the first thing I do is I actually start sewing the edges, and this one is double folded over. If you read the instructions, single fold, super fast. Um, I heard there's a sewing foot that will actually fold this over and do it for you. Nope, don't have that. Not a professional, so I'm doing with what I have. So the first thing I do once I get all the pieces is I sew these in, in mass. Not mask, M-A-S-S, -S, mass. Sew that in. I also do the inner face piece, this edge first. Now, if you read the instructions, what it tells you to do is to actually sew this piece together over here, and then it tells you to fold this over. So there's the first change in my process is I'm gonna sew this part first, fold this edge over and do that hem. Because I find it easier. And then once that's done, now I'll sew this piece together right here. And of course, after that, We'll sew the two front pieces together right along the edge. Now the next step in the process change is, in the instructions, it'll tell you to take this piece and take this piece right here, the face piece and the cheek piece, pin it and tack it here and tack it here. Um, I'm not a good tacker, I'm not a good pinner, so I changed a little of the process and what I did was I just took that inner piece and I sewed it on already right across the top edges top and I should say top and bottom edges right inside here so that piece is already on you can see where there's a pocket here 
Next step, without pinning, because I don't like to pin, is I'll take the cheek piece, put it on here, and then I'll sew around the outer edge on both sides without pinning because I'm not a good pinner and I'm not an expert sewer. So there it is right there. This is the next step. So the inner piece is in, the inner face, and the cheek piece is on. And you can see it's only sewn around the outer edge. Of course, if you read the instructions, you're now going to turn it inside out, pull it in from here, turn the piece inside out. And this is what it's going to look like once it's inside out. That's what it's going to look like from the front. On the inside, that's what it's going to look like. And then the instructions tell you fold over the edge. And you'll notice I don't have the, it tells you to put a hairband in here. But I just fold it over because you can get elastic, which you can't really get right now. So use what you use, tie it together. I'll put the knot on the inside and the elastic band comes out here. For me, the hair pieces that I had available too tight for me so I wanted something a little bit more adjustable once that is done that's it the mask is pretty much complete I take it a one step further just because it's more comfortable for me and I'll do an outer bead right around the edge or right around the top and the bottom see right across the top and the bottom what that does is the mask doesn't move after that you can't do this to the mask it actually stiffens it up and my opinion, it sits nicer on the face. Okay, so that was it. Quick video. Um, not, I'm not saying this is the way to do it. This is just one way to do it that's worked for me. Uh, okay, have a good one. Be safe. Be clean. Aloha.